Kyle and I were just sitting here talking, as we do, because we are friends, colleagues, and uh, all around. Um, okay, we gotta start over. This <laughs> started so good. Shoulder health is one of those things that is uh, almost always at the front of our minds, especially when we are considering what kind of equipment we're creating, uh, whether it's the shoulder rock, it's the duffalo bar. Uh, even the transformer bar, of course, but it's super important when we talk about movement too. We don't want to just find uh, equipment solutions to our movement. We want to fix our movement so that we can have a greater opportunity to train on more implements, more effectively, and more safely. The talk that we always go back to whenever we talk shoulder position problems or shoulder pain is how well your scapulas function with your shoulder and with your upper arm bone. It's a big word called scapulohumeral rhythm. It's essentially the rhythm in which this bone works with your scapula. Those two things, as that upper arm bone moves, the scapula has to move, and it has to move in the proper positions and patterns. So uh, one of the biggest faults or, or opportunities that we often find with power lifters or people who bench press a lot or people who uh, really press in any manner a lot is their scapulas tend to get kind of stuck. They tend to get kind of stuck because they try to find stability in a stiff scapula or in a stiff retracted position. They also don't really know how to move their spines around their scapulas effectively. Uh, one of the first assessments that will do with someone who's having pain in their bench press uh, pain uh, in their shoulder when they bench press rather is I'll ask them to stand up and tell and show me how you uh, arch your back or how you retract your scapulas to bench press. The first thing that any, anyone almost always does when I say retract your scapulas like you bench press, they do this, right? The scapulas don't actually move. They might if they really tuck them back, but the problem is is we have to figure out how to differentiate between thoracic movement and scapular movement because those are two independent systems. They certainly influence one another from a stability standpoint, but to have really healthy shoulders, you have to be able to move your scapula independently of your thoracic spine. So the drill that we almost always go to to figure that out is called scapular push-ups. There are things that are pretty common, uh, even scapular pull-ups, uh, things where we're just moving the scapula, but there is a right and a wrong way to do that. And we're gonna show you how to right here. So we're going to get Kyle set up in the quadruped position here. It's super important that he sets up a little bit of trunk stability here, just a small brace. And the main thing that we're looking for here is when he does this move, he is not rounding his back and he's not extending his back at all. So it's very small and subtle movements at the scapula only. He's going to try to press his sternum to the ground and then press back out of that. His scapulas are really going to go into retraction and protraction and this is what we're trying to pattern i cannot have kyle's traps being overly tight and and really on we can sometimes see that and we can certainly feel it but i really want him going through micro movements of retraction and protraction in this position and actually pressing through his hands pretty hard the major fault that we would have in this position is any movement at the spine this section of kyle's body should not move at all it is only scapulas, shoulders, and upper arm bone that's moving uh, any. Anytime we do this, we wanna be very controlled and intentful with our position. We're not trying to do 20 reps as fast as possible and just bust in and out of them. We're trying to really feel the control and how the scapulas glide across the back while Kyle's doing that position or while anyone is doing this specific drill. So when we would do this is almost daily, if you have any issues with your shoulders, if you have any issues controlling shoulder position in pressing patterns, this is something you should do prior to training and on your off days, probably in the neighborhood of a couple sets for 10 reps. Keep in mind guys, the shoulder should, and I say should, be one of the most mobile joints uh, in the body. There's only one actual bony connection right up here. The rest of everything else, the shoulder blade, the actual glenohumeral cavity, that joint should free float in all directions. There's a lot of shoulder mobility drills you can do. What we're showing you here is one of the simplest things. So don't forget how simple movements can give you profound change in the shoulder. Scapulohumeral rhythm. It's a big word. It's a fun word. It's a word you should memorize. <laughs>